In this video, you'll see how to upgrade an Amazon EC2 instance from Windows Server 2008 R2 to Windows Server 2012 R2 by using an automation document to create a new Amazon machine image, or AMI. This upgrade helps you avoid security and compliance risk by ensuring you are using a supported version of the operating system. There are two methods for upgrading Windows Server running on an instance performing an in-place upgrade, or conducting a full migration. An in-place upgrade is a relatively quick process that clones the original instance and then upgrades the operating system on the cloned version. To get started, let's navigate to the EC2 Management Console and take a look at the instance we're going to upgrade. As you can see, we have a Windows Server 2008 R2 instance running on EC2. Let's verify the operating system by looking at an instance screenshot. As expected, the instance screenshot shows a Windows Server 2008 R2 splash screen. For the purposes of this example, we've installed Internet Information Services, or IIS, on this instance to simulate running a custom application. Let's test that IIS is functioning by navigating to the public server address on our browser. Here, you can see that IIS is installed on the instance. When performing an in-place upgrade, it is recommended that you are running a large instance type. Since we're running a micro instance type here, let's stop the instance and change the size. Note that after the upgrade, you can resize the instance to the original size if you want. If your custom application is still in use, you'll want to make sure you plan any downtime for the instance appropriately. Now that the instance has stopped, we can change its type to large. Let's start the instance back up again. Next. Let's connect to this instance and ensure it has enough free space to proceed with the upgrade. A quick inspection shows approximately 5 GB of free space on this drive. It is recommended that you have at least 20 GB or more of free space on the instance before performing the in-place upgrade. So next, we need to expand the volume. Here is the volume for this instance. As a best practice, it is recommended that you take a snapshot of the current state before making modifications. In this case, let's proceed with our changes. Let's modify the volume to increase the size from 30 to 60 gigabytes. Now we can refresh this view and see the new volume size. Next, we need to connect to the instance and configure it to see the available space. We can configure the instance to see the additional free space using the Disk Management Utility. As you can see, the system currently sees 30 gigabytes of unallocated space. To resolve this, we can extend the volume. Now, all 60 gigabytes of space is being used, and we have enough space to perform our operating system upgrade. Make note of the instance ID here, as we'll need it later. To expedite this upgrade, we can apply an AWS System Manager automation document. In order to do that, we first need to have an Identity and Access Management or IAM role configured with policies that allow Systems Manager to conduct automation on Amazon EC2 and AMI instances in our account. Let's navigate to the IAM Management Console and create that role now. Search for the policy with the appropriate permissions and select it. Now let's give this new role a name and create it. Now that we have configured the IAM role, we can begin the in-place upgrade of our Windows Server 2008 R2 instance. 
Let's head to AWS Systems Manager to execute the automation document. An automation document uses either JSON or YAML format to define the sequential actions that Systems Manager performs on your managed instances and AWS resources. Let's search for the document we need. When applied, this automation document creates an AMI from the Windows Server 2008 R2 instance and then launches the newly created AMI in the virtual private cloud and subnet you provide. The workflow then performs an in-place upgrade to Windows Server 2012 R2 and updates or installs the AWS drivers required by the upgraded instance. After the upgrade, the workflow creates a new AMI and then terminates the temporary instance. Please note that the upgrade process we'll show here can only be used to upgrade a Windows Server 2008 R2 instance to Windows Server 2012 R2. Upgrades to and from different versions of Windows Server must be performed manually. Here, we need to specify the parameters the automation document needs to run. First, we'll provide the instance ID we noted earlier. Next, we'll type in the name of the IAM role we created with the appropriate permissions to run System Manager on EC2 instances. Finally, we need to provide the subnet ID for the upgrade process to use. Let's navigate to the VPC Management Console and select a subnet. As a best practice, you should perform the upgrade in a different subnet from your running application. Let's copy the ID of this first subnet, which we know is not currently being used. Make sure that the subnet you use has outbound connectivity to AWS services, Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, and Microsoft, which it will need to download patches. Now we're ready to execute this automation document. Once the execution begins, you can monitor its progress. Since this process can take a couple of hours, let's skip ahead in time so we can see how the instance will look after the document is completed. Here in the EC2 Management Console, you can see the original Windows Server 2008 R2 instance is still running. The terminated instance is the one that was used to perform the upgrade to Windows Server 2012 R2 and create the AMI. Let's take a look at the AMI. This is the AMI that was created by the automation document. Note the name of the instance, which indicates what instance ID it was derived from. Now we can launch a new instance based on this AMI. We'll quickly give this new instance a name, and then we can do some quick tests. Let's get another instance screenshot to check the version of the operating system. As you can see, this instance is running Windows Server 2012 R2. We can also verify that IIS 8 is running on this instance by navigating to the public server address. The in-place upgrade of this instance was successful. In your real-world scenario, it's recommended that you conduct thorough testing of all applications running on your instance and then schedule application downtime before switching over to the upgraded instance. You've just seen how to upgrade an Amazon EC2 instance from Windows Server 2008 R2 to Windows Server 2012 R2 by using an automation document to create a new AMI. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.